Hi guys, my name is Janelle Shepard and I am one of the directors with Rowlett Summer Musicals and I am just doing a quick video for those of you who are not able to make it to the meeting today to kind of fill you in on some details. So I have my notes and I will try to be very brief and get to the point. So first of all, hopefully you figured out where the location of rehearsals is at First Christian Church. Um, we will be there from tomorrow until Thursday. So normal times 1230 to 430 just like we did today. It's super crucial um, that you guys do us a favor and help us out by making sure your child knows what cast they are on, whether it's on a cast or Elsa cast, because a lot of them seem very confused about that today. And also it's very, very important that they memorize their lines and their songs as soon as possible. We told them all today that their homework for tonight was they had to be memorized by tomorrow. Um, it's just we have a lot of kids and we have four days and we want the show to be really good. So in order for us to have time to really coach them and get them ready, they have to start memorizing and practicing a little bit at home. We are going to have all of their scenes and their dances on video. Um, we are hoping to get that done for you guys tonight. We will be uploading that to YouTube. And um, so if you go on YouTube and sub subscribe to our channel, Rowlett Summer Musicals, you should be able to find that there. And then you can practice with them uh, at that time. Um, a couple other things we talked today about tickets. Um, we are going to be sending out the ticket link here very shortly. And this is probably the most important thing I'll say today. There is very limited seating at the venue uh, where the kids will be performing. There are 110 seats. Um, and so basically the way the math divides up, each kid can sell up to five tickets per show that they're in. They're gonna have two shows uh, because we cut the cast in half. So all that to say, as soon as the link goes out, it's very crucial that you get the tickets you need for your family um, as soon as possible. We do ask that you limit them to no more than five until everyone's had a chance to purchase their ticket um, because we don't want any parent to not make it to see their kid. And once they are sold out, there's nothing we can do uh, as far as accommodating more space because we have to honor the fire code and stuff at the, at the facility. So that brings me to the shows. The shows are Friday and Saturday. Um, depending on what cast they are on, we put next to the cast what times they will be performing. So please take a look at that email we sent out with the cast list in detail and make sure you know what days and what times your child is performing so that they're there on time and no one's missing. But if you have questions about that, by all means, you can talk to us before or after camp. We will be happy to help you sort that out if it's confusing for anyone. Um, so on Friday, rehearsal will actually be there at the theater, normal times, 1230 to 430. Then you have the option at 430 to pick your kid up and then bring them back 30 minutes prior to their show starting. If you want to take them to eat or give them a little break or something like that, that's your option. Um, if you choose, if it's too hard on your schedule and you choose to, you can leave them there with us until their show starts. Um, we do ask that when their show is over that they leave. Um, so it's less kids for us to manage when we're trying to get through another show with the separate cast. So we would really appreciate your help on that. Um, if you are wanting to get an ad in the playbill, um, I think you have until tonight to send those and Tracy emailed you. So if you have any questions about that, please contact her and she will try to help you with that. She may take them as late as tomorrow if you talk to her and just let her know you're working on it. Um, and you'll try to get it to her first thing tomorrow. She'll probably still take them. Um, but if you could try to get them to her tonight, I know she would really appreciate that. Um, other information that we talked about today, t-shirts. The kids will be wearing frozen t-shirts that we ordered for them. Um, we were planning to give those out tomorrow. It's looking like it may be Wednesday now because I was late getting in the last minute signups, getting their shirt sizes to Tracy. So um, it may be Wednesday when they get those, but we will give your child a shirt. Please make sure you've sent payment for that shirt. They're $10. You can pay by cash check or we have a card swiper at camp. So you can pay at drop off or pickup for those. And once they're paid for, we'll get them to the kids and they will wear them both on Friday and Saturday for their shows. Um, they can wear it with jeans or um, with shorts, doesn't matter to us. Um, please make sure your child is wearing comfortable shoes to camp and they have their script. It's very important that they have those two things. Um, we had a few students today in sandals and it was hard for them to dance and move very easily. And some of them might injure themselves. So we just ask that you put them in flip-flops, send them with water and a snack. 
Okay, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. Let me just double check my list. Location, hours we've talked about. Yes, music schedule. If your child has a solo, we sent uh, a schedule that looks, I don't know if you can see that, something like this. And anyways, it's in the email. And on Wednesday and Thursday, we are asking that people who have solos and certain songs come early on those two days. So if you'll just look at that list and see if your kid has a solo in that song, if they do, we need them to come at 11 o'clock that day. Um, and that way they can spend a little bit of extra time getting help on the music part from the music teacher. If that's an issue for you because you your schedule, it just doesn't work, just shoot us an email and let us know and we'll try to find another time to work with them. But that would help us out so we can really focus on the music stuff with just them. Um, dance videos, we talked about that, t-shirts. Okay, I think that's it. But if you have any more questions, please let us know. Be on the lookout for links to the videos uh, for the kids to practice with and the link to buy tickets. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. Um, we look forward to an exciting camp.